Aya! Welcome! I have a box from eBay to open for you today. This was something that I purchased late last week. Not taking too long to get here and I'm very excited. Although I'm always excited when I've got an unboxing to do. They're unboxings. They're just genuinely exciting, aren't they? But I'm particularly excited because this is a line that I've only just started collecting. I've only got one other pop in this line. The first one that I got, you saw it in a recent unboxing because I won it in a giveaway. So there is your clue. There is your starter for 10, as they say on Family Fortunes. But now what I need to do is get my trusty yellow knife. If you touch me like this, and if you touch me like that, it was so long ago, but it's all coming back to me. If you, I don't know the rest of that. <laughs> Probably a good thing, really. Right, and now let us have a sizzle. Woo! This cost me twelve ninety nine, I think. I buy it now on eBay. Postage was three or four pound ish so this was somewhere between 15 and 16 pound i can't remember the exact price does it say on the address label and it's sometimes they put what it is and the price on don't they looks like it's very well packaged lots of bubble wrap it's actually written on the sort of what the pop is so i'll try not to show you that although with the intro and the thumbnail etc you may have guessed by now anyway so it comes in a sorter Ha ah, yeah. And the pop I've got is... In the Funko Fantastic Plastic line. It's Salty the Seagull. Yes! Oh, wow. This has been one of my favourite of these original Funko characters ever since I saw Leroy Screwballs unbox it. Quite some time ago, a couple of months at least. This is one of his favourite pops. I know he took it to his local beach and took some photos of it, which, um, although I don't live near a beach, I wouldn't bother doing that. For me, my Funko Pops are indoors all the time. It's just safer that way, as far as I'm concerned. But wow, I am made up to get salty. Box looks to be in absolutely perfect condition, as far as I can tell. It comes with both a Funko Store limited edition sticker and this nice silvery metallic-y 20th anniversary sticker that i've got on i think three pops now when i won leroy screwball's recent giveaway for finder chomp and here he is he's displayed quite near me so i can just show him you quickly there he's of course in a pop protector now i thought no i want to get some more of these i'm not saying i'll ever get a full range because i think there's a lot of these that are difficult to get now but um, some of the characters that i really like and some bargains then um, I'm definitely going to try and get more of the fantastic plastic Funko Pops. And you may be seeing an unboxing of another original Funko character very soon. Fingers crossed this week. But he will be an inbox pop for me. I think the boxes are really nice to display in. A uh, quick look at the back before I get him out to show you briefly. But uh, we've got a sort of Sailor's Anchor tattoo style logo there for Salty. As you can see on the artwork, he does have tattoos himself, but we will get him out now for a closer look at those. So I think for the price I paid, that was pretty much about what he's worth. He isn't a dirt cheap Funko Pop, because the Funko Shop limited editions never usually are very, very cheap, unless you get really lucky. But he's not a particularly expensive one either. And here is... Salty the Seagull. Oh, he's marvellous. I love him. I love him. Got some fair weight to him. Not articulated at all. He's wearing his little sailor's hat. He's got a big protruding yellow beak. He's got... It looks like a bullet that's sticking out of his mouth. I think it's maybe supposed to resemble a cigar, possibly. But um, to me, it's like a brass bullet or something. There's probably some nautical reason for that, but... Anyone who's well up on seafaring matters will have to let me know what that's all about. He's got like a red scarf or tie sort of thing. His shirt is mainly white but with thin light blue stripes. There we can see his tattoos. Look, 
on his, I suppose they are arms, I mean, technically they'd be wings really, him being a seagull, but they're sort of more humanised arms. One of his tattoos is of a dead fish with an arrow through it, and the other one is of an anchor, the traditional sailor's tattoo. His trousers are blue, with a black belt and gold buckle. His little tail is sticking out the back there, and he has got big yellow bird feet. Brilliant pop. I've said it before, I'll say it now, and I'll no doubt say it again when I get more of these, which I intend to. Funko's original characters are great. I didn't get it at first for a long time. I thought, why are Funko releasing their own characters? They don't have a cartoon series or comics or anything, but I love them. So that was Salty, a fine sailing seagull there. Makes me feel all summery looking at him, bringing back memories of childhoods on the beach, both home and abroad. Wonderful stuff. Marvellous. Got to give special thanks to Leroy Screwballs for really sort of getting me into this range quite a while ago, but I just never pulled the trigger on buying any until I won Finder Chomp the other day. And now I just want to get many more of these at the right price, of course. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to the eBay seller for fantastic packaging and service. And thank you, as always, to all of my subscribers and all of my patrons. If you would like discounts on Funko products from Hull Pops, Culture Freak and Glass Shelf Collectibles, I do have affiliate discounts in my description. Also in my description is discounts on Funko Pop protectors from All Things Vinyl, my pop protector company of choice. And at the very top of the description, do not forget my Ride to 75 giveaway is running right now. You can win yourself not one, but two prizes. I've not done the official reveal of the second prize yet, but I'm hoping that's going to be coming in a matter of days. I'm going to go now, put Salty in an ATV pop protector and display him next to his fantastic plastic comrade, Finder Chomp. And I do hope that all of you will join me next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!